round two of the economic collapse. Looks like it's just getting ready to happen. This feels like 2008 all over again. The, uh, the Euro is coming unzipped at the seams. I read an article where I think like 80 something billion dollars left the uh, Spanish bank, one of the Spanish banks, just like fleeing for safety. Uh, Raw Dog just did a video where treasuries are at an all, all time, like ridiculous, unheard of levels. I think if you loan the government a hundred dollars right now for 10 years, they would pay you back $116, $115, something like that. That's how low the interest rates are. This is outright panic. I actually have a, a video on this coming out pretty soon, but uh, I'm not really ready for everything to come unzipped. I mean, <laughs> I was kind of hoping for like another year or so, but uh, it's gonna happen regardless what I think, or uh, you know, my time frame, or your time frame, or anything. And uh, eventually, it's going to be the crisis in confidence where the, just people just lose faith and in the whole system the ability to keep everything together and for your robbie g's and cosmos gatos that always talk about market sentiment well look at the freaking market sentiment out there guys look at what's happening and yeah you know the dow's not at six thousand but with with the amount of capital that's that's fleeing the euro right now that's a major major warning sign if they can't put a plug in this if they can't stop this this flight of capital uh the eurozone is just going to crack and fall apart um you know someone was saying i forget who it was but they were saying that germany might be the country that that really triggers this whole thing when, when the germans just say you know what i've had enough i'm done with it but we'll see guys very interesting um i bet that they're happy that all this is happening on a friday so they have the weekend to try to put some band-aids on this gaping wound I don't know. The, the, the good thing is I'm pretty sure that the U.S. is going to be the last to fall. That's going to be the good thing. So for all of you that say when is it going to happen, you know, what's, when is the whole thing going to fall apart, you'll probably see Europe and parts of Asia and, and everything else just crack up. And the U.S., this, this is going to be the last. So I think you're going to get plenty of warning on this. But if you look at the uh, quote-unquote sentiment and the fundamentals, uh, they're both turning down. And this is... 2008 except for what are they going to do now uh they can't lower interest rates i mean there's there's no fix no fix for this crisis if it gets out of hand uh, print a ton more money uh, this is where the uh the trend that gold and silver have been following are really going to break uh you know what they've been doing for for the last i don't know four years market crashes gold and silver crash they're going to start trending up and the last thing to go the Treasury when you see the Treasury get out of hand and it will eventually I mean you can't you can't hide the negative effects of, of what's going on forever eventually eventually real market forces will take over and uh, yeah goodbye economy <laughs>